I would always just try to be honest with her when I would mess up, when I would lose my temper, when I would like, you know, if I'd shout at her and it wasn't, and it wasn't reasonable or called for, you know, I would, I would sit down after and say, darling, I said that, that was nothing to do with you. And that was everything to do with me. Like, yes, you're doing that thing. I said, but how I reacted, that's not because of you. That's because of me. And so, and, and, and usually any of those times that it would happen, it was either like at a time where I was like working in a, in a space where I was like doing a lot or like, and I was underslept and like, there's a load of other things going on. And, and I would say that, and I would say, you know, I'm really sorry. And, you know, I shouldn't have shouted like that. And, but I don't want you to think that was you. That was, that was me. And I, and I've got to work on these things. Some, and I'll say to us, sometimes as children, we think our parents have all the, all the answers. So when they do things, we think, oh, like that they must have done that because that's the right thing. I said, that is not the case. I said that, that, that wasn't the right thing. And I want you to know that I, I do try my best and sometimes I make mistakes. And just whilst you're learning as a child, I, I'm learning as well. And I commit to trying to be better. And I've had those kind of conversations with her since she was about three. And what's interesting is, is how much she doesn't hold anything. It's like in that moment, you see her kind of just energetically, you see her go, oh. and she goes, that's okay, daddy. And she'll put her arms around me. She'll give me a kiss. And it's like, she's been absolved of the thing. Whereas like, I can remember being a kid where something like that would happen. It'd be like, now look what you made me do. So it's like, oh, so now you've lost your temper and it is, it's, it's because of me. <laughs> Put it back on you too. <laughs> so I've, I've always, I always try to show up as, you know, best I can, but in the times that I haven't, it's just, can I just be honest? Because whilst right now I might take the position of she's my child, but at some point she's not going to be my child. She, she might be my adult, but she's not going to be my child. And I think some people, times people forget that Okay, so now I have a relationship with a seven-year-old and that's different to the relationship I had with a three-year-old and it's going to be different to the 10-year-old, the 15-year-old. But at some point, there's maybe going to be a relationship between a 70-year-old and a 55-year-old. And that's going to be a very different relationship. So rather than just seeing her as my child, it's realizing that there's another human here that I'm going to evolve with. She's going to evolve with me. Our relationship's going to evolve all the way. And and can I look at her at her uniqueness and not just see her as mine this thing that's mine, mm. but as this this person and and to try to go into that like honestly and vulnerably and openly and to look at oh like what what have I got to work on myself here because if this thing is bringing frustration to me, what is it? It's just another layer of that, which is amazing. Like it's it is amazing, and I think if you can try to approach it consciously and not be in the shame of making mistakes or be or, or you know whatever that means but being human um i think it can be an amazing opportunity to really create a deep relationship and to grow mm -hmm.